All right, welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man Unlimited. I flipped my coin, rolled my die, and we're going Rainbow Man. And this stage... How many of y'all remember Quick Man stage from Mega Man 2? Do you remember it? I remember it. I remember it well. Um, just watch. You get death beams! And things to redirect the death beams. And you can shoot the death beam. You can shoot the things to redirect the death beams. And, and by the way, glue will also stop those things that redirect the death beams and, and freeze the death beams in place. And you can do that too. That, not, that, as you can see, spreads out the death beams. Whew, that was close. Okay. And of course, you wouldn't have a rainbow-themed stage without leprechauns. Take a moment to listen to the music. I like the music. What can I say? Oh, look at that! <laughs> now this one, I think you kind of have to just, yeah. Because before, I would always, I would try and shoot that, that, uh, I, I'm, I'm pointing and you can't see it. But this thing right next to me, uh, the spreader, I would always try and use something with that. Or with one of the other things, but, uh, just going through like that just works. And hey, look at this, mini boss. It's like, it's, it's one of those, I call him the float devil. And this is why you don't touch the beams. Ah, uh, I can't believe... Uh, uh. Bad placement. Bad placement of that thing, I tell you. Yeah, the, the, the float devil there, just kind of bad placement. Okay, here we go. Down we go. Whew. Oh, oh, that was close. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't need to do that. Okay, there we go. This one I need to run through. Whee! Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> that was bad. That was just bad enemy placement there. Okay, this works better. Ow. You shot me, you a-hole! Okay. Whew. That was close. Yeah, and with different and with version differences, as he released new versions, um, originally the uh, the checkpoint. This is the checkpoint room right here. Originally, it was before the mini boss, and there wasn't this platform here. But now you see it's after. It'll be after if I fuck up and die or whatever. There we go. No! And there are two ways to get over to the other area that I'm going to be going to. Uh, one is use a glue shot and get in there quickly. Um, or the other way that I prefer to go, hello Skype, is go here and use the comet dash. Um, hi. Okay. And by the way, we're not done with the beams. <laughs> so not done with the beams. Okay. That way works. Get to show off everything too. I like it. <laughs> Another one of those, if you just shoot it, you don't have to go and hurry through. Or if you want a challenge, you can just hurry through it. Ugh. Are we almost done with these? Shit. Oh, we're finally done with them. I think that was the last, the last of the beams. Oh my god, yes. 
Now, maybe later on, I might do some videos going back with the uh, through the other ways, the other paths that you don't take. But um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I do about that. But right now, Rainbow Man, we get to the glue shot. Uh, this guy. Hi, how you doing? You can run. He'll shoot fire. He'll shoot shit at you. Hi. And of course, to boom. That's actually the best I've done against Rainbow Man so far. <laughs> uh, it's quicker to just watch them for me to try to explain it at this point. <laughs> oh, but um, I, I think it's Rainbow Shot or Rainbow Burst or something is what we get. We'll see in a moment um, exactly what we get from him. You got. Rainbow Beam. Rainbow Beam. Okay. So, yeah. That's what we get from him. And it's very good against Tri-Nitro Man. And I will show you why it's better to use that against Tri-Nitro Man than anything else. Um, but that's going to be in the next video. And until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.